Gusty winds and blowing snow caused horrible driving conditions in Grant County through the night last night and into the morning. The sheriff's office telling drivers to avoid east and westbound roads in Grant County. KXL by force Grace Ditzler is working for you. And Grace, these road conditions meant emergency workers were just swamped with calls of people stuck in the snow, right? Robin, the Grant County Sheriff's Office advised people to stay off the roads unless they absolutely had to be on them and said this morning's commute was impossible for some people as they were blocked by three to five feet of snow and abandoned vehicles. Grant County says deputies responded to more than 40 drivers stuck in drifting snow on county roads. Dan Sweeler has lived in Grant County for decades and he's never seen conditions quite like last night's. This morning was a little bit unusual because we had so much wind and snow last night, blowing snow, that it was, uh, it was crazy. Conditions were so bad, the Grant County Sheriff's Office told people to stay off all east and westbound roads. This is the first year that we've had that's been pretty significant uh, blowing snow and drifting. The Sheriff's Office said there were too many roads impacted to describe all of them. Many drivers who tried to drive overnight and this morning got stuck in snow drifts. Deputies spent hours checking on occupied and abandoned cars all over the county and brought stranded motorists to safety. And it wasn't just law enforcement. Dan started helping around 6 this morning. And I've been going nonstop since. <laughs> Dan works at a nursery and spent the day bulldozing snow drifts and getting about a dozen stranded people to safety. I've hit drifts where I couldn't go anymore. And I had to content just get a bucket load, back up and dump it and continue that until I could get through the drifts. It was important to him to help get the nursery employees to work. They rely on the job and so I feel that it's our duty to, uh, you know, get them in here safe because uh, they don't like missing work. Area farmers helped around the county too. The sheriff's office says the support was a big help. It's, it's just the right thing to do. Luckily, no one was hurt during the weather emergency. And here's what happens next. The sheriff's office says as of this afternoon, the county is now in the recovery phase and things are getting back to normal. They will plow the affected areas, mostly those east-west rural county roads, and people are still asked to avoid those roads as plowing will take a while. Reporting in studio, Grace Ditzler, KXLY 4 News.